My name is Franklin Alexander Moss, and I uh, was born in the year of 1965. And uh, I was put into a, a foster home, I believe, uh, starting at the age of two. And to which the foster parents eventually adopted me at the age of nine. And they did an outstanding job of raising me. And they're still, my dad's still in California, the one that adopted me. Never seen my real parents, never. Uh, I just seen a photo of them, maybe like, with the mom, maybe about three years ago. And it brought me to tears because we almost look like brother and sister. <laughs> They raised me and my dad, he was an artist. He was an uh, oil painter and he did mainly landscapes and a lot of still life. And I would lay on my belly at the door of his art room and I would copy some of his uh, artwork to the point where he seen that there was something there and he began to critique and help build me up. And so that's how I got involved in art and it progressed and I stuck with it even to this day. And then as far as music, I'm, I love music, all kinds of music. I've been infatuated with music ever since I was a little boy. I would be at the dinner table doing little beats with my hands and while I'm eating or I'm laying in bed, I'm doing little beats on the pillow. And I made actually made recordings, <laughs> taped recordings, uh, which I still have of putting music together with violin, clarinet, and an oatmeal box, knitting needles from my drum, uh, drumsticks, a clarinet case from my bass drum, an oatmeal box from my snare drum, and I made actual recordings of songs. That's how infatuated I was with music. And this is something I found also in a thrift store. And it was so amazing to me, as I, as I said earlier about detail, I love detail and that is definitely in this. Now, when I got this, I think her pinky was missing. So I actually used some Bondo, formed it and, and put it on there and put uh, this type of, this colored paint on it. And also his flute was missing. So I actually took a nail, cut the heads off and, and I uh, replaced his missing flute. So, and that is the case with a lot of artifacts that you may find at thrift stores because sometimes they're there because something's missing or something is broken. Well, my mom, she, she would dress me up just to go to, this is an elementary school. She would dress me up to go to school. She would get certain clothes together that she thought would be, you know, uh, compatible with each other, each article of clothing. And sometimes I would, I would go to school in a tie, dress shoes, slacks. This is an elementary school. And then I noticed my dad, he had clothes in his closets that were, you know, quite stylish. And I eventually started wearing some of those to school. <laughs> they were rather big, of course. So, so I would literally like swim inside the clothes, but they were stylish and that's what I loved about it. Even, even in high school, I would wear, occasionally wear a tie, dress shoes or a dress jacket or a dress or a sport coat or whatever, or close to it. You know, some, and when you go out, when you dress like that, it gives you a whole different mentality. You walk different, you, you carry yourself different just because, you know, the way you're dressing, it gives you sort of, a, uh, gives you confidence and you can go about your daily activities with a different perspective, a different mentality. I love an artist that tells a story within the painting. He didn't just form some shapes together just to make a picture to fill someone's wall, but he's telling a story. And in this painting here, you can see that they're getting ready to go to church. And you have, it looks like granddad, he got tired of waiting on them, so he made his, his way and the little boy, he said, oh, I don't want to trip, so I'm tying my shoe. And, 
here's mom and dad and the rest of the family. And it, it is so intriguing to me because it's a beautiful setting and it's Sunday morning. You can see everybody got prepared. They took time to, to get all dressed up and to leave at a certain time and to make their way to church. Well, as I said earlier, I love old stuff and antiques. Reason being, back in the day, people took their time to uh, make stuff with detail. They weren't worried about the time, how long it took. They were not gonna let that product go till every last minute detail. Some of it could be microscopic, I don't know. I don't know how detail they got, but they would not let that product go to every last little detail was refined. And it shows, as opposed to now, let's hurry up and get it done at the cheapest cost we can get it, as, as much as we can get it, and get the product out there so we can make the dough. Music is something that, as I said earlier, I'm extremely infatuated with. And when I begin to play a song, the majority of the songs that I play are songs that I've written. And I'm not going to really say I wrote them because I literally hear these songs in my dream. Or I would wake up in the morning and I, there's a melody that would form in my mind that I can't get out until I get to the piano and play it. So it's a gift. It's a, it's a gift from God. Uh, and, and I tell everybody that because I, I take no credit because I don't make myself have those dreams. So I have these dreams and I literally wake up. Sometimes I wake myself up, come to the piano and the song is right there. And sometimes it would take a whole day to formulate the song from the introduction to the ending. But it's it's there. I know I know what I hear in there and I just try to transfer it to the piano. And then when I actually play a song, I am so infatuated with the song, so deep into it, it's like the outside is almost non-existent. Sometimes people try to say hi to me or they talk to me and I don't even hear them because I'm lost in that song. There's no, there's no notation or transcriptions of the music, it's all up here, so I'm like totally lost in the song. And sometimes it's so deep that I literally start crying while I play the song. So it's more than just, uh, as some people say, a job. It's, it's a passion. And it's like uh, something so deep within that I'm totally lost to the outside world. I don't know if that makes sense. So, uh, but I mean, I'm, I'm uh, affiliating with you when you look at your photo and it brings joy. And some, so sometimes the joy is so overwhelming that it brings tears to my eyes just the, like the other day I was playing a song at a at a performance and I had to I had to just bow my head and and tears started forming in my eyes because the song was so moving to me and I know if it's moving to me people feel those vibes when you have that passion people actually feel those vibes and it moves them and then and I'm, I don't normally go around saying this, but sometimes people come to me with tears in their eyes saying how much a song moved them. And uh, they'll just say a word or two, how much it moved them. And that to me, that means more than a, a cash tip. I mean, that comes, and, but I'm not doing it for that. It's, it's just, I wanna share a gift that I was freely given with people around me. And that's, that's my desire to share my gift. And I'm gonna say this and then we'll move on. I believe everyone has a gift. Everyone that's born on the face of this earth has a gift and they should find out what it is, capitalize on it, learn all they can about it, and then share it with the world. Not necessarily for monetary purposes. I mean, that comes. And then that other person that has their gift should share their gift with you. And this is, this is how the world, I believe, should run. People sharing their gift. And when it's a gift, it's 
it's not a job. It's, it ceases to be a job. But you'll get paid for it because people appreciate it. And so that's how you should make your living. If you're doing a job that is, is every day, you know, hard and you, you, you regret the fact that you got to get up and go do it, then you, find, you need to find out what your gift is and capitalize on it and make that your job. And then you'll begin to enjoy it and your life and still make the money. Not that you're doing it for the money, but it's going to come because people appreciate your gift. And lastly, a thank you to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. I've used Squarespace for three years now, and it's one of the best investments I've ever made. I am able to easily share my work with their customizable galleries, and I can sell prints and easily get paid with their simple-to-use online shop. I can also use their third-party extensions to even ship those prints if I feel so inclined. If you want to support the channel as well as get a small discount, go to squarespace.com slash and use code Burks for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.